Advanced Functions Rate of Change. I'm Anil Kumar and here is a question from one of my subscribers in YouTube. Use difference quotient to verify that the slope of the tangent at the point minus 6 minus 10.5 is 0 for the function f of x equals to 0.5x square plus 6x plus 7.5. Now we can prove that the tangent at this point is horizontal that is its slope is 0 by finding preceding and following rate of change for the given function at the point where x is equals to minus 6. So what we will consider is if you see a number line then let us say that the point we are talking about is minus 6. A point before that very very close could be minus 6.01 and on the right side following point 6 will be a point minus 5.99 so we'll use difference quotient method to find rate of change between these two points right so the formula for difference quotient is let me write rate of change equals to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a right so let us find first the preceding rate of change and then the following rate of change i will suggest in such cases is better to evaluate the value of the function at each point then utilize the formula and find rate of change so let us find what is the value of the function at minus 6.01. So we can substitute minus 6.01 in the function. So we get minus 6.01 square plus 6 times minus 6.01 plus 7.5. And you can always use your calculator to find this value, right? So in the calculator, you can write 0.5 within bracket minus 6.01 bracket close square plus 6 times within bracket minus 6.01 bracket close plus 7.5 equals to it gives you 10 point minus 10 point 4999 okay it is already given to us that f of minus 6 is minus 10.5 let's write down what is f of minus 5.99 right so let's substitute 5.99 for x so we get 0 0.5 within bracket minus 5.99 bracket close square plus 6 times minus 5.99 bracket close plus 7.5 equals to minus 10 point for same value right we get minus 10.4999 so we get all the three values right now we can find preceding and following rate of change right so let us say rate of change for preceding right that is to say f of minus 6 minus f of minus 6.01 divided by minus 6 minus minus 6.01 correct that gives you f of minus 6 is minus 10.5 minus f of minus 6.05 is minus 10.4999 divided by so that becomes 0 0.01 and now if you calculate this value what do you get? So you have minus 10.5. So take away, take away becomes plus 10.4999 divided by 0 0.01 gives you minus 1 over 100, right? So what we get here is minus 1 over 100. Now let us find the following rate of change right so we'll find following rate of change that is to say f of 
minus 5.999 minus f of minus 6 divided by minus 5.999 take away minus 6, correct? Now, since we have already calculated the values, let's substitute them. 10.4999 with a negative sign minus minus 10.5 divided by, so this is 0 0.01. And let's use the calculator and again calculate the same thing. Of course, you get the same thing, but this time it is with plus sign. So you get plus 1 over 100, right? So what you realize here is that if you kind of sketch this parabola, okay, so at this particular point, so we're just concentrating on this point, so the parabola may be kind of like this. So what you see here is that at minus 6, we have a value which is minus 10.5. And at a point before and after, we have a value which is minus 10.499, okay, something like this. I should not say recurring, but almost okay, right? So what you observe here is that the rate of change before is kind of negative, right? And that secant which you join here is positive. Right? So it changes from negative to positive. That means we are expecting a minimum. Right? Now, well, let's first find the rate of change at 6. I should not jump here, right? Now, what is the instantaneous rate of change at x equals to 6? It is average of these two, right? It is average of preceding and the following, correct? So add them, divide by 2, right? So when you add minus 1 over 100 plus 1 over 100 and divide by 2, you do get 0. Now since the instantaneous rate of change at 6 is 0, we have a tangent at this point with 0 slope or a horizontal tangent, right? So that with the help of difference quotient method, we have verified that the slope of the tangent at minus 6 is indeed 0, right? So therefore, we can write slope of tangent is 0 at x equals to minus 6, right? Now, another part to this question could be to verify whether it is a maximum or minimum, right? Now we can say since preceding rate of change is negative and following is positive, so it changes from negative to positive, therefore at minus 6 we have a minimum, right? So this is absolute minimum for our function. I hope that helps you to understand and if there are any questions you can post them. I'll gladly answer them. Thank you and thanks for your question. Bye. All the best.